Okay, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, please, uh, please, please, please <laughs> subscribe and uh, leave a comment and a message below. Uh, and if you're a returning uh, uh, viewer and subscriber, uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, those subscriptions and those comments are really what keep me going. So thank you very much. I'm, I'm very humbled for all your uh, comments and uh, uh, taking the time to subscribe to my channel. Uh, we had a request from a uh, viewer that wanted to know a little bit more about the rendering. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the new update that we have. Uh, in 3.1 and uh, how to maybe do a little bit better rendering with the old uh, uh, way of doing it. Uh, the new way is so much easier and you guys if you see it you'll want the upgrade just for the the rendering because it's it makes it so much easier. Uh, but let's get started. Uh, so first I'm going to drag my window uh, down a little bit so I can kind of adjust everything, kind of see everything as I'm working on it. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, open up our render studio. And I'm going to go in here and go, oh, I'm already there. So uh, all these, these are materials that are already applied. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them for the sake of the video uh, and reapply them as we, we go along. Uh, you don't have to do this. Uh, you can keep the ones that you want, of course. It's not a necessity. But I have two uh, same designs. Uh, one is for the 3.0 and before in Matrix Gold. And this one will be for the new one. And as you can tell, we have not joined all this together. We didn't do any bullions on the stones. If I uh, get rid of the blue here, you can see I, di I didn't even bother cutting them out okay for the rendering so they're they're just there uh, and then this one here as you can tell with uh, matrix 3.0 and earlier you have to remove all that metal uh, don't have any metal touching any of your stones so I went in there and did the bullions uh, on on this one if I remove it you can see that I took away all that metal uh, so there shouldn't be any uh, metal touching the stones okay so we're just gonna go ahead and hide this one here we'll come back to that uh, and you will uh, you'll be amazed at the difference between the two um, once we get going on this so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start I also went ahead and grouped all my blue because we're gonna make those sapphires and we're gonna keep uh, the white uh, or these gemstones in diamonds so let's go to materials tab and let's just start applying. So I'll take my green and we'll put it on a, a white gold and apply. All right. And then I'll just go ahead. Matrix Classic uh, seems to work the best, uh, but you can you can go through there and kind of check them out. It's just that Matrix Classic just really seems to work the best for uh, modeling uh, or for rendering. And in this video, I do have something extra that you might want to stick around to see. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy that extra. I, I think you will. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure uh, and click on Matrix Gold or Matrix Classic there and it is activated. It's applied. So uh, let's see right now uh, okay we have the metal applied right uh, we have the white gold and matrix classic so I'm gonna take my blue go to my materials and I'm just gonna make those sapphires and apply that material and I'll just check to make sure it's there okay and then I'm going to take those uh, white stones and make them uh, just regular diamond you, you got some other diamonds here uh, this is just for ray traced, I think. Uh, and then this would be your diamond that you would want to use for your rendering. So be careful which ones you, you pick out. Actually, sometimes the ray trace look better than the actual diamonds. Uh, but you can check those out. Uh, material. So we have diamond, sapphire, make classic, and white gold. Okay. Uh, I'll turn on my ray traced here so we can kind of see what it's going to look at look like and as you can see it, it's uh, uh, the diamonds aren't showing up because why if you click on it uh, the diamonds they're they're kind of the, just the the rendering type thing right so if you click on it you click this box here you can kind of see what they're going to uh, look like in the the um, 
the render itself. Uh, so this is kind of what it looks like. It kind of kind of look a little dark, right? Uh, everything kind of looks a little dark. Uh, let's first look at the the metal. Okay, so uh, some you can go in here and you can uh, well just uh, you know if you right click on or you click on any of them, it opens up this down here. So let's turn on our sapphires too, so we can kind of see what they look like. And they're a little dark too. Uh, but you can uh, manipulate some things in here. Uh, you can go here and say you don't like that color of metal. I wouldn't do this one first. I would wait until you kind of check out the render and put your lights in there. Uh, but let's just go ahead and you can kind of move it around and kind of lighten it up or darken it, uh, which depending. I'm just going to keep it right there. Another thing real quick, uh, see right now it's it's passing you know 1,000 passes. So we don't want that for j just to update real quick. So we're going to change that to 20 and hit enter. So now it's just going to go to 20 and stop because we don't we just want a little uh, look see as what it's going to look like uh, not a full type thing. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to go to do is go to my sapphires click on that and make sure that box checks so I can see the updates as we go and I'm going to drag that out just a little bit further even I think if I can grab it here maybe not I'm not. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit more. Uh, and I'm going to the illuminate luminance. I'm going to jack up some. And now you can see it's changing a, a little bit in color. So it kind of making my uh, sapphire pop a little bit, make a little bit bluer. But you can you can take that up uh, if it's uh, you know depending on the color of sapphire that your 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 salon sapphire perhaps. Uh, if it's a lighter color sapphire, but you can uh, adjust that uh, to whatever your liking is. I'm not going to make it yeah, something like that. Uh, and then I'm going to go to my diamonds and pretty much do the exact same thing. Uh, the diamonds in the 3.0 and before, because it uses ray traced, uh, it's a lot more difficult to 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 really make those diamonds pop. And you'll see the difference once we do the other ring. Uh, but first of all, I'm just going to take those luminous all the way up so I can get a little bit. You can see it's a little bit lighter. And I'll give it some hue. Bump that up as well. So kind of make them jump out a little bit. Saturation, I'm not going to touch too much. Uh, let's see what it looks like way up here. Not a lot of difference there. Uh, keep that somewhere around in here, I guess. Uh, and then... Uh, well, let's just do a render and take a look at it and see what it looks like, okay? And that's with only doing very mo small manipulation and adding no lights. So let's do a real quick render here. And if I think you have Matrix 6, you can put a denoiser in. The only thing the denoiser does is just kind of make the render uh, go faster. And as you can see, it, it really doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's really not that bad. Uh, you know, you got a little darkness in here, but those diamonds don't look uh, all that bad. And the metal's uh, looking pretty decent. Uh, not not too bad, really. My, my sapphire's got a lot uh, more blue in them with some uh, shine, right? Uh, so that's really not that bad. We'll go into After Effects or Post Effects here in a little bit. But let's keep moving forward. Uh, yes, I want to stop it. No, I don't want to save it. <clears throat> okay, so let's put a light in there and see if we can make a difference with that to uh, brighten it up a little bit. So we'll go to our render studio. We'll grab a light. Uh, and usually I go with this one here, but today let's let's just try this one. Uh, more, well, let's back out just so I, I didn't mention it. Uh, directional light, okay. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put it like around my C4 here. And then I'm just going to drag it straight up. I'm going to take this one up kind of high because it's pretty powerful light and if you watch the perspective view you'll you'll see how much it's going to brighten it up. Yeah see now it washes out our white gold though right but our, our stones look pretty decent uh, they're a lot brighter right so uh, if you go back into the white gold and you click on that now you can manipulate that white gold to darken it up a little bit get you that color back again right and, and take some of that wash out away all right so let's just do a render on this here 
real quick. Adding that one light in and uh, doing a little bit of a uh, oh, wrong view. I always do this, sorry, my, my apologies. Uh, need to activate the correct viewport and then hit render. And we'll turn our denoiser on. And you know now it's 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 looking pretty decent. Still have that little darkness there, but that's also because the light's coming through that stone and taking away that that light. But really, not too bad. And it also our diamonds are popping a little bit, uh, so not 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 that bad, right? Uh, for the most part, okay. Uh, so let's click out of that. It's at 32. So yeah, we'll come back to post effects in a little bit. All right, so uh, what else can we do? Uh, well, you could always add a, a different type of light in there, add more lighting. You could always add another directional light, and maybe you want to lighten up that this side here because that's where it's and put another directional light in there. Uh, but we'll go to uh, rectangular light here, and we'll kind of take it off to that one side there. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can mess around with it and see where uh, where all you want it. And I pull it above my ring, and there's an arrow pointing to the top, right? So that's where the light is. And I'm just going to swing that around so it's kind of brightening up that side there, right? So now we, we got rid of that uh, area there. But it's kind of washing my metal out again, right? The white gold. So let's go back into the white gold, and let's darken it up a little bit. Not too much. Don't want to make it look brown or anything. Excuse me. <coughs> Still fighting that cold. Uh, so now our metal's back. It looks it looks a little bit more decent. Let's do a render with that one real quick. And let's see how those diamonds look. Oh, again. Sorry. <laughs> I do this all the time. Not just for this uh, purpose of this video, but all the time. Uh, so here we are. Let's pop that up. Okay, there we go. Uh, now let's our denoise is on. Now all those diamonds are popping out there, right? And we got rid of that spot. So you got to just kind of put, but this side's a little dark. You could do the same thing to that side, uh, get them a little bit more light on there and uh, uh, brighten it up, right? So really, it, it, not too bad. Uh, not that bad at all, actually. But uh, a lot of extra work with cutting it out and uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, let's just go ahead, just for sake, uh, on this one here and do a little bit of post effects. Uh, let's click on our plus there. And let's just do depth of field real quick. And what depth of field will do is, as you can see, it's kind of all blurry right now. You can pick a point and where it will be a focal point. Uh, let's just say kind of like right here. And now you can see it's kind of uh, cleaned up this area here. Uh, but this area here is a little bit fuzzy, but you can max blur that. You can uh, bump that up a little bit, uh, to, uh, and you can also blur strength, go up a little bit. Oh, if I can, there we go. And it'll uh, blur it out a little bit uh, more. Focal distance, let's take that down a little. So you can see it's starting to blur that out. It's keeping all this up here uh, pretty decent. So you can play around with these settings. Uh, and uh, see where where you like it and uh, give it a little bit more oh uh, no well, way too much let's take that down oh there we go okay so we got a little bit of blur here uh, and the stones are okay and everything so that you could do that uh, you can also go in here and go to bloom which will take your whites uh, and see how it really makes those whites pop a little too much in the white there. And then you can play around with this a little bit and adjust it. That's a little too much. Let's take that down. Let's take our radius down. Uh, you know, and it just kind of play around with it. Let's stop this real quick. We're at 117 passes. Oh, render's ready. Okay. Uh, you can kind of uh, play around with it see now it's got those whites popping a little bit but you can play around with this and and kind of get a little bit better uh, view as far as what it's going to look like uh, or if you want certain things to pop and then there's one other thing uh, if you go to final passes I, I should probably let's get rid of that bloom here uh, I'll remove it and let's go ahead and just get rid of that uh, depth of field for 
this next part. You don't have you can keep that. It's it's no big deal. But if you go to the final pass, you have a couple different options. And if you watch watch the uh render, right? You can switch it to like a 1.8, which kind of darkens it up a little bit, maybe kind of makes everything the ring more stand out kind of and, and the background not so bright. Here you get a lot of brightness here. So you can mess around with this as well. Uh and change it to you know there is it darkens up a little bit more the rings really popping now uh, or you know it just really depends on what you're going for this makes it a little maybe darker but it depends on where you're at right so you can mess around with these settings here to uh, get a little bit uh, different uh, look on your item and depending what else you have in your uh, in your uh, image or render that you want say you have some other things which we're going to do here in a little bit uh, you can add stuff in there like that too. Okay, so let's go back uh, here. Uh, that's kind of all on, uh, but those are really your options. You can also, uh, I guess I should mention, uh, go into your render edit and you can do some rendering in here. You can do gloss uh, 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 refraction uh, and transparency and uh, you know mess around with these here too as well so that's another option and I'll show you a couple really cool options as well uh, should I do it now no let's yeah let's go ahead and do it now uh, materials right so if you g if you go to your command line and type in materials and hit open okay this will bring up your materials box and then again y you can go in here and manipulate o other things as well uh, depending but we're going to come back to this uh, this is uh, kind of interesting uh, area here uh, first I guess uh, let's close that out for a second uh, let, let's uh, we'll keep our lighting uh, I'm going to go to my surfaces and I'm going to just drag in uh, a plane. I'm going to make it pretty big because I don't want to have to mess around with it too much. And something like that. And I'm going to take that plane and drag it so it's kind of back there. And then I'll just take that plane and drop it just so it's underneath my ring, right? Okay, now here you can go to your materials and. Uh, you can put some uh, some kind of uh, plane on it, like a wood plane here. Uh, do I have it selected? Let's select it and let's go ahead and apply it. Okay, this one, you know, you have to do a little manipulation with. So if you go back to your documents, you click on your wood. Uh, you can do uh, reflection. You can change that hue. You can change that. It's really not. Oh, what happened there? I got rid of it something happened. Let's go ahead and delete that one. Sorry. Uh, and let's reapply that material. I don't know what happened. That's a wood. And apply. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like wood, does it? <laughs> so let's go to our uh, materials here. Click on that. And let's play around with these settings here. You can get it to where that wood pops out, but there's uh, a lot easier way to do it really environment there we go no it's, there we go now it's switching back to the so we want it to the environment versus the surface it just seems to show off the item better uh, but uh, we're going to change that surface so actually I'm going to go ahead and uh, dupe that in place and then I'm going to select that first one and delete it well, I deleted the wrong one, so let's just do it again. Uh, grab your plane, s put it out there, drag it over, drop it down, because I want to show you uh, some really cool stuff here. Uh, so let's go to materials and open up that box again. Okay, <clears throat> so you can manipulate some things in here as well. Uh, uh, gloss, reflectivity, transparency on, on whatever items are listed up here. But we want to, I want to show you uh, where you can, you know, Matrix Gold has a lot of materials uh, you can use. I mean, there's tons in here. 
and we'll talk about these last two here in a second. Uh, but it doesn't have them all. There's there's a ton more that you could add in. So one way to add in uh, extra kind of textures for something that you're making would be to go here and then go to import materials from library. What this will do will take you to the matrix uh, library. Uh, so McNeil, Rhinos, uh, localization, render content. Okay, so it has all these kind of contents in here. Let's go to pattern. So you have, uh, let's change the view here. Uh, let's go to large icons. So you have all kinds of different uh, patterns uh, that you can uh, a add in to your, your matrix uh, library or just add in for the usage. I wouldn't try and, oh my gosh, look at all those. Uh, you could, I wouldn't try to add them all into your library. You take up too much memory. So there, there's no way to add them all in, but there's a way to get them. So let's see, let's uh, go back uh, here. Let's go to uh, wood, D double click on that. Well, double click on that and then I'll just pick a bamboo okay and then I'll open that up so it puts it in our materials library now the only thing you have to do from here to apply it it really is just drag it over and it'll sign it'll sign to the material the are we in ray traced should have maybe I didn't drag it okay well, I'll click on it and it says assign and then let go Okay, and of course that lighting's uh, really bright in there with this uh, here, so you can get rid of some of that lighting. So it goes something like that. <coughs> or you can, you know, add that lighting back in, uh, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, and let's, let's just do a render with this one here real quick. I'm going to move this over here. And we have a lot more to talk about with this. So let's go ahead and do a render. Denoiser's on. Uh, I did it again. Sorry. Eating up your time. Uh, let's do uh, activate our view and render. And we'll take a look at it and see what it is. Denoiser you can download. That, that's in my prior video. If yeah, not too bad. Uh, the lighting you could probably change on it, but uh, really, uh, you know, it offers a lot more uh, ways to do things, right? Or extra things you could add into your renders. So let's get rid of that. Uh, and there's also ways to import from outside uh, PBR files. Uh, so let's. Uh, Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, if I, I have two. Uh, we have uh, ambientcg.com. Uh, they have a, a ton of materials that you can download. Of course, when you're downloading from a, a, a third source, always be careful. Uh, make sure you take the proper precautions. Uh, but there, there's just tons of materials that you can uh, go through and take a look at to see if you want to uh, import and all you have to do is uh, click on the one that you want let's see let's go to wood here and here's one so if I take that one I can download uh, you know the file which I already did so we'll come back to that in a minute there also is another one food for rhino this one is very safe because it's a rhino website it's right off of rhino and if you uh, go scroll down uh, food for rhino uh, you have materials tab and if you click on it, it it'll load up uh, all these kind of materials that you're able to uh, import as well uh, so there's uh, lots of ways to to add them in so I'm just going to close that out for right now. Uh, and uh, I already downloaded one, so I have it here. And what you need to do is uh, just first, let me hide that. Uh, after you download it, put it in a file where you know it's at, of course. And then you click on here. Go to Create Physically Based Materials from Texture Files. Click on it. Uh, and then mine's in my downloads. 
Oh, it's sorry, it's on my desktop. Yeah, it's on my desktop. Uh, let's see. Where's it at? Where'd I put it? Uh, PBR materials. Nope. Where did I put it? Oh, I okay. I can just go to uh, downloads, and it's this first one here. Open it up, and it automatically puts it in. You don't really need the DX. Uh, I guess Rhino doesn't need it, uh, but uh, there's nothing you can unselect it. Or let's see, where's it at? Well, we'll just keep it in there. There's nothing wrong. I don't think Rhino needs it though. Uh, roughness, yes, okay, and then we'll just go ahead, hit head, and hit. Uh, looks oh displacement map. We don't want that. Uh, this will be an offset for your uh, surface. It'll offset it. We don't want to offset, so we'll just click that at zero. Uh, the GL file didn't come in, which is a major bummer. Maybe this one doesn't have it. Uh, okay so let's uh, go ahead and just hit OK and it should load in there it is and uh, let's just uh, and now down here you can do some manipulation as well uh, bump wood roughness 100% everything looks okay you can crank up the roughness if you want uh, opacity mm, I don't know if I want it that high we'll check it out though uh, let's just click on detail no 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 uh, base metallic roughness Low file let's take that to a hunt oh okay Let's take that to 100%. And that looks good. So let's go ahead and then drag that over onto our item. And now we have a uh, little bit different uh, kind of uh, texture you could add in, right? And that kind of looks, it kind of looks a uh, little dark. But uh, it's just a way to add in materials, right? So you can go to those two sites, and uh, you have to go to uh, create fi after you download it, create physically based, and then it, uh, get the import from those files there. Or you can go to uh, import from uh, Metal Library, uh, and you have all those files in there as well as you can you can use to uh, download. So I'm just going to get rid of that background here, and close out our materials tab. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this ring here. And we'll go ahead and get rid of our lighting as well. Because uh, now we're going to look at the 3.1. And, and I think you're going to be totally amazed at uh, the difference in easiness. Uh, but first, if you have 3.1, you can go to your... Uh, let me scroll down here. You'll get these two extra uh, tabs. If you go to into your cogwheel or your gear and click on it to activate them or open them up if they're not there is to click here uh, show render materials tabs uh, and then they will uh, uh, populate over in your uh, studio uh, s render studio and but one thing uh, if you apply these materials here uh, they will not work with metal weights or any any of the reporting you'll have to do all that uh, with uh, normal matrix uh, gold uh, materials uh, it will not if you wanted to do a tech report it will not uh, put out the tech report it won't give you the weights it won't give you the gemstone weights uh, stuff like that so uh, do your tech report if you're going to do that prior to uh, adding the materials that's the only uh, other thing uh, is make sure if you're going to do a tech report do it first uh, so let's bring back that ring that doesn't have anything done to it and let's just show a, a little difference here uh, we'll go in here and we'll pick our gre uh, green and purple 
and we'll just use these two here the new ones all right these are like the old matrix 9 they're uh, v like v-ray mapping these are all cycles but these are a v-ray so we'll, we'll put that on yellow and we'll apply it and let's go ahead and turn on our ray traced okay uh, let's go to our dot yeah right now we got these two metals uh, classic supplied and uh, the rate rendering white gold okay so we have our white gold and let's keep on going uh, let's go back to our materials and we'll pick all our diamonds which I think are these here and we'll to you have four different kinds this first one just kind of works best for me I like it the best and I'll apply that and we can start you can already see the diamonds are just popping what what V-Ray does is just maps puts something over the top of it so it just maps those stones in there and you can see it, there it doesn't matter where they're at they're all gonna look the same alright and then let's go ahead and uh, let's see we got our we'll go ahead into our materials again and we'll go up back to the sapphires because that's what we do with the last ones uh, where are they at? Sapphire, there it is. Blue sapphire. And we'll click on our blue ones there. And hit apply. Okay, so now we have our sapphires. Again, probably want to go into our sapphires. Do a little manipulation uh, with the color. And we want to turn that on. Make sure that's turned on. And you can see a little. it's a little too bright. something like that it's got the deeps and it's got the highlights okay so now let's just go right into rendering because that's really all you have to do you don't have to really worry too much about lighting with uh, the new one uh, although if you have other things out there you want shadows or whatever uh, you can add those in and let's just do a render real quick give it a few seconds here but V-Ray uh, just adds a, a, a mapping over the the item so you can see right away those those stones uh, are already uh, nice bright stones and as we get higher in our uh, passes they start showing more detail and just kind of really changes the whole game and they're all the same right oh well you can go to clay you I know that clay you has a library uh, and you can add things in from the library like uh, maybe you want some kind of these designs added in you can add those into your uh, designs uh, as far as your rendering like put an elephant in there or whatever or you know spruce it up with a flower or a, what is that is that an elephant I'm not sure what that is or a cup or whatever or you could design your own uh, the render studio also has uh, props but I can't remember how to I never use them uh, Mike's render yeah you they has props in there let's go well no it's not in there uh, miscellaneous no oh no it's in your uh, 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 collection so if you go to right click uh, let's see where's it at uh, it's in the collections uh, collections uh, displays I think displays yeah okay and then you have all these things you can add in like a, a ring box or something uh, and then import it don't uh, uh, just open it you want to import it and then you can uh, let's hide that take your well no we want to do this take your ring and kind of uh, get it to where it's going to fit into your ring box kind of thing something like that then you can also just kind of make the box a little bit bigger 3 d or whatever but I'm not going to go ahead and get into all that but you can render this as well drop it up now I'm messing up everything okay drop it down 
something like that and then you can add colors uh, you know fabrics and all kind of stuff from your materials onto this let's just do something real quick uh, let's some kind of fabric let's see what do we have in here I don't want to go back into uh, uh, let's see any kind of fabric okay there's not really a lot of fabrics in here it doesn't look like you can go to materials I'm just gonna go ahead and click something from here though uh, let's go back materials <coughs> open up that materials uh, area and let's go into the Rhino library import from metal library and let's go to fabric uh, textiles open that up uh, let's see uh, I don't know. Japanese texture fabric? Why not? I'll give it a second to see if it loads it in there. There it is. Where'd it go? Japanese texture fabric. Take that, drop it over onto this. See if it put it on there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow, cool. There you go. There's a nice little box for you. But there's, uh, let's turn on, uh, let's go back put our bamboo on there since we got a Japanese box right uh, and kinda pull that in maybe uh, make it a little bit bigger hold on shift pull that in set it up the way we want it something like that maybe and uh, put a light in there let's see Let's go to this side here and go to our render studio. Get lights, directional light. I'll just take a directional light. We'll put it from right in here up to there. There, that'll really brighten it up. Uh, and we'll move that over here. Yeah, there we go. Set it the way you want it. And do a render. Give it a second. But there's uh, so much you can play around in. It really, to learn the rendering, it, it's just getting in there and playing around with it uh, as best you can. We'll give it a couple passes here, and we'll do a little bit of post effects just so uh, you can see once more, and then uh, we'll call it a, a video. <laughs> but you can see that that really looks pretty good. I mean, you know, even with uh, the strange Japanese textured box there in our bamboo floor uh, so not not too bad but the ring itself look the metal looks good the stones look good our sapphires got some light blues some dark in there uh, I didn't bother bending those prongs over I never do uh, I figure the, the customer knows that they're not going to be sticking up that high but uh, and I always let them know it's there for uh, because of purposes uh, 46 we'll stop it there well we'll go ahead and go into post effects real quick field of depth we'll pick right around our sapphire here so that brightens it up and kind of dulls that rest down you can bump it up you can play around with it let's go back in grab some bloom uh, and it's popping right here right and right over here so you know and then you can go into the final pass one more time click on something there you go now it's giving that deep rich color in there uh, something like that you can a little bit darker uh, play around with those settings I kinda like that 1.8 there that looked pretty good I thought it kinda gives it that deep color there uh, but there you go I hope the video helps and uh, if it did please leave a like subscribe and a, a comment below uh, good designing <laughs>